You know, as much as I mocked NBC Universal streaming service name, which is still a bad name, by the way, Peacock, um, it actually has quietly become a favorite of mine to jump into and tune into and, and watch. I mean, obviously, I'm in there a lot watching Parks and Rec, and Anne has been watching The Office a lot lately on it, and, yeah. and, a, and a lot of other stuff, too. It's actually become a go-to streamer for me. I really quite like it, despite the name. I really like Peacock. One of the things I've never understood, though, and I've, I've always known it's probably because of some backdoor deals and licensing and all that kind of stuff, but NBC Universal owns Peacock. Why are NBC shows not on there? Why don't... Why doesn't the new episode of Chicago PD air on NBC? And then immediately, why does it go to Hulu instead of going on to Peacock? And of course, NBC Universal still owns one third of Hulu. So there's a bet there. But now that is no more. Variety has now reported that Peacock, as of September, is going to be getting the NBC shows. The NBC shows are now going to not go to Hulu, but instead they're going to come over to Peacock. Uh, it says NBC series that will become exclusively available on Peacock include franchises like the Law and Order franchise, uh, Chicago Med, Fire, and Chicago PD. Uh, the network late night lineups, including The Tonight Show with D Jimmy Fallon, Seth Meyers, Saturday Night Live, Return of Series such as La Brea, New Amsterdam, Young Rock, basically the NBC rundown. This is a significant development if you're Peacock. Getting that kind of content, because listen, as much as streaming is king, a lot of people still watch these network shows. And to now be the exclusive home online for these things, I think this is a major shift for them. It's not suddenly going to put them on the same level as Netflix or Disney+, Plus, but I think this is a big move for them. Rob, you look at this. How significant, or, or maybe am I overestimating how significant this is for Peacock? No, I think it is pretty significant because all of the you know, the streamers are going to consolidate and take the things like NBC, all of their content's eventually going to come yeah. back to them. And that's the whole point is that whether you're talking about NBC, Universal, whether you're talking about Disney, whether you're talking about Warner Brothers with HBO Max, all of the studios are becoming, you know, their own lands, so to speak. I mean, when you go to Disney Plus, you get Disney's legacy of entertainment. Same thing is going to be true of, of uh, Peacock. Everything NBC will be under that win uh, under that umbrella, mm -hmm. as well it should be. Chris, you hear about this? How big of a deal is this, or or is it not? I mean, it's a it's a big deal, but it makes sense. It feels like this should have happened already. I don't know why NBC hadn't pulled their things to put it on their own streaming service ahead of time. And I'm sure it had something to do with some deals that were in place or something like that yeah. for usage. But it just makes more sense to have everyone have their own things on their own streamers. So. I already use Peacock a lot. I use it to watch wrestling, and I can't wait to watch Law & Order on it. I forgot about that. WWE has their stuff on there, too, yep. right? Mm -hmm. I totally forgot about that. We're, we were just uh, scoping out tickets for WrestleMania. Ooh. We think we're going to get it. We think because it's going to be in L.A. Yeah. At, at SoFi. So mm -hmm. I think we're going to get some tickets. But oh, fancy. We'll, we'll see how many and <laughs> how, how big we'll splurge. How, how good of a seat <laughs> do we want to get? Are we going to go nosebleeds? Anyway, guys, question is for you. Have you guys installed Peacock yet? Do you watch some stuff on there? Do you not? Will this do anything to get you thinking about installing it? Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and leave your thoughts there. We want to take a moment and thank the sponsor of this video, Me Undies. Now, guys, we've all heard of gut instinct, but have you ever heard of butt instinct? It's when your butt tells you it wants new undies. Listen to your butt. Luckily for you, we work with Me Undies, makers of the most buttery, soft, and sustainable undies, bralettes, and socks that exist. Guys, for too long, I lived my life wearing those Amazon or Walmart 20 pack cheap underwear that I thought were just fine until I tried Me Undies undies. Now it's like my nether regions are in a Palm Springs resort. So guys, let your skin sing a song of joy with undies, socks, and bralettes that feel as if they're spun from silken clouds. Guaranteed to be the softest stuff you've ever felt in your life, their signature micromodal fabric is sustainable, breathable and stretchy as heck. Available in sizes extra small to 4XL, they have new colors and prints dropping weekly. So there's always something exciting to check out. Try out their free to join membership for free shipping on every order and exclusive perks like an item shipped to your door every month, secret sales and early access to their newest stuff. MeUndies has a great offer for all John Campy Show viewers and listeners. For any first time purchaser, you get 20% off plus free shipping and returns. To get 20 
20% off your first order, free shipping, and a 100% satisfaction guarantee, go to MeUndies.com slash Campia. That's MeUndies.com slash Campia.